Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video, I'm going to give another demo for Spaceport. I am cranking out some code this weekend. It's a three-day weekend. I've been coding all morning. I have three things that I want to show. So I have Spaceport node deployed as a container. I have Spaceport Nexus deployed as a container, and I have Spaceport Cosmos running locally. And this isn't actually going to be the Cosmos that I release. This is just, I'm... It's been a while since I've coded React, like front end stuff. So I'm just getting a refresher course for myself and just building some components and displaying some data. It's it's probably not gonna look anything like what I'm showing, but I think it actually kind of gives an interesting view into what I'm building and maybe makes it a little bit more obvious as far as what my end goals are. So uh, let's get this minimized here. Um, and then we'll go into spaceport. So this is spaceport. We have light and dark mode toggle here. I won't toggle the light mode and burn your eye sockets out, but trust me, you can do light mode if you're crazy. And then we have three sections that I'm showing right now. And this isn't all the data that's available. It's basically just what I've got programmed up right now. So servers, if I go into portainer, these are all servers and you, you already kind of have a server view here, alpha, you know, echo, delta. Well, every time you hook a node or a farmer up to spaceport, it stores some server information. So if I click show servers, we can see I have a container or else the server wouldn't show running on the delta server. So we, here's delta. And if I look in here, we have a farmer and a node actually running, but only the node is really like getting it attached. So we can see the spaceport node right here, and it's just constantly inserting new events into the database. So it's just some basic information, and this will probably be displayed differently, but it just kind of shows you the information that we can get. This is all static, but you could refresh it. So you can see 2200 was the last time it was refreshed. If I do that, the date, it's still 2200, but it's like 10 seconds later. Um, so we have this information here, the servers. And if you're thinking about like the hierarchy, this is the highest that it goes. Like there's a server, then below a server, there's a node. Uh, then even though technically the node and the farmer are both containers, if you think about it, a, a node sits under a server and a farmer sits under a node, and a farm sits under a farmer. So there's like four hierarchies here. And right now I just have the servers, and then now here's a container. So this is my subspace node container running. You can imagine there might be another node here. If you had two nodes running and a couple farmers here as well with some farms attached to them. And the data is going to look a little bit different because as we can see here, this is a node. So we have like node information here, but we might have farmer and farm information here instead. And then down here is just like the generic stuff about the container. It's connected to Delta. So we saw that server up here, uh, server name is Delta. So we know that this container is running on Delta. You might have multiple servers, you know, especially for farms, and each of the farms would point to a different server. Uh, then just some like image information, CPU usage, memory usage. And then we have just like the latest event kind of gets pulled in and the data displayed. So the status is, is idle because that would be the last consensus event that occurred. If I were to refresh this, you could see the last time was 2201.26. Now it's 2202.31. So this is, in the future, I'll set up a like an interval. It'll, you could set it to refresh 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you want, basically. You can have it refresh. It's going to be your own API, so there's no API limits. And it's, it's very low stress on the server. So you'll be able to set up a refresh. This is just to kind of start showing some of the information uh, to get a better idea of what this is going to look like. So that's the containers. And then last, we have recent events. So if I show events, we can see these are events that are getting published by the node because, first off, you can see the name of the container. It's an idle event, and it's happening on this subspace node. The level is info, and then this is just raw data. Now, keep in mind, 
this information is actually going to be showing it, there's a there's a specific table called consensus and this status peer peers best all this stuff is listed as a column so there will be like a you know api ip address port slash consensus and you'll be able to get like all the consensus events and you could filter those you could order them uh, by you know sort them by however you want and you'll be able to get all the different information from all so this is all of your containers so you'll be able to sort through like if you just want to look at node events you can do that if you just want to look at farmer events you can do that everything is kind of combined in these tables and you're able to filter and sort and do whatever you want to manipulate them of course we're going to have a dashboard with like plotting you know statuses and node statuses and all sorts of things like that just this is more to display some of the data and i have to add some new apis because right now to get like to load a container here i've got to call like two separate apis which is kind of a pain because I'm building the API, I can just create a single API that returns all the data that I need just with like, I'll have to do two separate queries on the back end, but it's a lot better than trying to call the API twice and loading the data in this awkward way. Once I get a better idea of what I want the front end to look like, I'll make a few APIs that are dedicated to like loading a dashboard and dedicated to like loading specific things that I want to be able to display. But hopefully it's kind of coming across about how cool this could be. You don't have to worry about logging into your server. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if you don't want to run Space Acres, which is the GUI version, and you just want to run it in containers because it's just super easy to scale, you'll be able to hook up this front end and everything already is running in containers and you're just adding new containers. It's, it, this, I don't know if it seems complicated or not, but this takes like five minutes to set up once everything is done because it's just you install a container for the spaceport node you install a container for the nexus you install a container for cosmos and containers are super easy to install so there is uh, also mobile so if you want you know check your stuff on the go and you set it up so you know space you can i'll probably do some videos on like how to do this but i i only really check when i'm locally but you could theoretically set this up to check uh, outside your home network. There's a lot of videos on that, but it works great for mobile. So you can see uh, this is what it looked like in mobile. And if I want to show the server with everything showing. So keep in mind, you know, of course, we only have one node hooked up. You could have two or three or four or as many nodes and farmers as you want. And same with servers. You know, I'll have like five or six servers hooked up. You can see there's a bunch here. These are all going to be basically showing under the servers section. So a lot going on here. The UI, I think, is it, it'll look very similar to this in like the style because I'm using a specific framework, but I think it looks pretty good. Like I have no f real like front end development experience. I mean, I built some basic websites, uh, Tater Tracker, if you ever use that. I mean, the UI is not great on that, but my hope is, you know, to build something fairly performant, fairly useful but I wanted to share the current status of it. So here you are. And that's really gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully you can kind of see how things are going. I'm hoping to have a first version launched. I mean, I wanna to say tomorrow, I'm gonna to be coding for at least a couple more hours today. So I think I'll, uh, it won't be like, it won't be the final layout probably. It'll be more of like a demo version it might not even be launched under like the cosmos name it might be like you know spaceport demo container and you'll be able to look it up and see because I, i'm i planning on changing a lot of this like i i want to there's going to be a lot of routes so right now you can see i only have like one your it's a single page application basically right now in the future you're gonna have like slash dashboard or slash consensus or slash you know all sorts of different things like um I'm trying to think of like like rewards or something you can go in and look at your rewards uh there's going to be a ton of different stuff basically is what i'm trying to say so this isn't really the layout that i want to do that but anyways i'm rambling i'm going to end this here
Hopefully you're as excited about Spaceport as I am. I promise I'll have a working version out here soon and you'll be able to start monitoring your stuff. And you can continue to use any other monitoring apps that you're already using if you have one for the terminal. That's totally fine. Like this runs, it's not going to conflict with anything. So anywho, hope you enjoyed it.